textile manufacturer Gore is best known for its breathable, waterproof, and windproof fabrics like Gore-Tex and Windstopper, found in all kinds of outdoor gear like gloves, shoes, and jackets. Before you buy your Gore-Tex jacket, it gets tortured out here in the testing facilities in Elkton, Maryland. We're going to look at all the different ways they do that. So this is our rain tower, and in order to try and simulate true rain, it has to be as high as it is. So we put the clothing on the mannequin, and the mannequin will rotate. Gore product specialists use different rain settings to test the finished product. One's called extreme wet weather. They have rain coming from above, there's rain coming from the side, and it's all to test our clothes so that when we're out in the real conditions, we're warm and we're dry. And at the end of the test, you open the, the garment up and look for wetness on the inside of the garment. Gore-Tex starts off as EPTFE. That's short for expanded polytetrafluoroethylene. It's uh, basically chemically inert. It's, it to, can take all, withstands all kinds of temperatures, very thermally stable, so very flex durable. So when you're, when you're you know, walking, running, hiking, skiing, etc., that flexing, that type of fatigue just barely, if at all, affects the product. The flexible membrane has about 9 billion pores per square inch, each of which is about 20,000 times smaller than a water droplet making it impenetrable to liquid water while still allowing water vapor to pass through. Once the membrane is glued onto a fabric like nylon, it's rigorously tested for wear and tear. That means everything from elbows and knees to laundry cycles. Then you can go from there to mannequin type testing, for example, then you can go to people wearing it in controlled conditions like this chamber. Inside the climate chamber, Gore technicians simulate extreme cold and heat environments. They'll monitor a test subject's heart rate and comfort level in both active and passive situations. Let's get the temperature cold, like Alaska cold. It's just like walking into a refrigerator. Of course, temperature isn't the only factor when testing for cold. A huge factor is the, is the wind. And we're, we're in the chamber, and it's totally still air. But not for long. feel a big difference if you had just the standard fleece jacket on. Yeah. You'd be chilled. It's like a Michael Jackson video. Yeah, that's pretty cold. Cold, rain, snow, and wind will ruin almost anyone's day. But at Gore, it's exactly their type of weather. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Ribas.